Well, welcome back to the Grand Jury Women's University, where we're getting ready for our second final of the day, which will be the women's doubles, as you can see there. Chan and Jun against Lee and Shin. It's a Korean. Here's how the women's doubles event has panned out. Chang and Jun threw very easily yesterday. A bit tougher for Lian Shin. So the officials on court, we await the entrance of the players. Mascots there. <laughs> now, who do the crowd favour here? I wonder. The two Korean pairs. meeting. Receiving. Chan is receiving, this side of the court. Let's give you some details on these players then, starting with Chang and Jun. Chang won a silver the World Championships a few years back with a different partner. On the All England with uh, Lee So He last year. Here you see their highest ranking as a pair was number two. Won this title four times. Runner up once and also the mixed doubles twice. So clearly something that. Chang likes about playing here in uh, Grand Duke. And Jun Kyung Un won a bronze at the Rio Olympics playing with Shin Seung Chan. 16 doubles titles she's won. 
looking for their first as a pair. They have not dropped a single game all week. And their opponents, Lee So He, who's been up at number two, that was a couple of years ago. On the China Open this year, that was a Super 750 event. Losing finalist also in the Hong Kong Open, which was a Super 500. And there's Shin. Bronze in the Rio Olympics. Also bronze in World Championship. Women's doubles. So again, this should be tight. Ready, Every ready. chance. We're going to see another three-game match here. In the umpire's chair, Stephen Lim and Lee sung Hoon of Korea is the service judge. Korea. And on my lap, Chang Yena, Jung Kyung Un, Korea. Shin Song Chan, the serve to Chang Yena. Level, play. So Shin serving, to get us underway here. Are just going to enjoy this as a match. They really have an allegiance, particularly out of the two. We know that Korea are going to win at least three golds today and maybe four. The other match where they're not involved is the women's singles, all Chinese affair. Oh. Easy kill. Okay. So into a completely so unguarded area of the Three, court. Two. Very proactive so from Shin. Four, three. Went for the all-out winner and got it. 
I'm going to turn to serve. Beautiful deception. So it's over. Four off. Chang's so good at those kind of shots. Saw that yesterday, the semi final. There's another example. Shin scrambling, couldn't get there. Should be disappointed with that. Five. Should have expected four. to make it. Hey. Six. Four. So far, proving as close as we expected. Oh. Looks good. She's on challenges for it. Well, there has been a challenge from Lee and Shin. So Hawkeye will a judge here. First reaction was it was in. And it certainly was. Bang on the line. Challenge unsuccessful. So it's over. Sorry. One challenge remaining. So it's over. Seven, five. Click. Oh. We're finding a few gaps now. It's Chang and Jun. Just looks a bit rattled there, Shin in particular. Long by a considerable distance. So it's over six from Chen. Well, that might make Chen feel a bit better. Seven. It's a pretty easy put away, but still got to do it. She's indebted to an excellent shot from Lee. Clever again from Shin. 
So it's over. It has. Chung certainly didn't see that coming, covering the back of the court there. Never going to get to it. Even so, it's a handy lead at the mid-game break. 11 points to eight in favour of Chang and Jun. Chung serving. Well, after a nervy start, Shin has certainly uh, come to the party now. Cut off two or three at the net. Good anticipation. Can they fight their way back into this game? Just a couple of points behind Lee and Shin. She was always going to put that one away. It's getting progressively nearer the net on each of those smashes. Doesn't get very high, but she's got a very good angle. Again, let's turn the wrist 14, on that. 10. Perfect little backhand. Hi. Suddenly, there's a bit of daylight here on the scoreboard. Once again, Chang finding the angle. Thank you. Allowing Chang and Jung to play so many shots from 
relatively so close to the net. 15, 11. Oh, that's in, on the line. Error of judgment. 16-11. Well, Lee would love to have that point back again so she could have played it. That was a real gamble. It's actually inside the line, wasn't it? Starting to assert now, Cheng and Chun. They had to serve that time, which they really haven't been doing much of. Still a big ask, though, to get back into this. Opening game, five points behind. Filled oh! her twice now. 13, 17. Good a shot as she's hit in the match so far. Not out of it. This opening game. Lian Chin. Oh, that's a really big call. That is a real momentum blocker. Just when they look like they were possibly getting back into it. Above 1.15 meters. Good leave, and it sets up six 20, game points game point for Chang 40. and Jung. And there it is, in pretty quick time too. 16 minutes, 21 points to 14. Chang and Jung in front.
중간 스마싱 딱 때렸을 때는 반대도 온다고 생각하고 Shin playing catch up here. So it's over. Some more confusion there between Shang and Jin didn't know which one was gonna play it. been much respite for Lee and Shin at any stage of the match. Jung in particular has been so aggressive and Chang is so consistent. Just makes so few unforced errors. And that puts a lot of pressure on. You have to keep finding winners. So it's over. Two, one. Right, well, inside the line, I thought it's being challenged. I was pretty close to that. Well, I'm not sure this is going to get overturned. Let's see what Hawkeye says about it. Yeah. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. So it's over. Two, three. Play. just outlasted their opponents. It's a rarity. And Chang usually so good at the net.
Well played. Right on the line. Six, three. All of a sudden, two or three of these long rallies. So a good start in the second game for Lee and Shin so far. Trying to get back into this match. Well, normal service resumed from that first six. game. Unerring accuracy with the jump smash down the line. Absolutely nothing that Shin could do about it. Three points in a row for Chang and Jun. Well, this to me looked like it was well inside the line. Unless I'm seeing things here. I'm surprised by the line judge's call. See whether I need specs or not. I do. We'll be down there first thing in the morning. Sometimes it makes you realise what a hard job it is. You get one look at normal speed, obviously. Yeah, just not enough depth. Give her chances from that kind of range, and she's going to take them. Mid-court, and uh, Jun so strong, and that shot. Mistake from June. Oh. 
One alternate points for about the last eight points here. Well, that's broken the pattern, and Lee and Shin have a two point advantage at the mid game break. Just inside the service line. And once again, from mid court, there, it's just asking for trouble. She's not missed that many. Not in this game, anyway. They were slow starters, Lee and Shin, in the opening game. Much better in this one. 11 all. <laughs> well, I can see exactly what Shin was trying to do. But she couldn't execute. Successive points since they came back from the mid game interval that Chang and Jung have won. Winner. 
So it's over. 14, 12. Hey. moment those short points invariably going the way of Cheng and Jun. Yeah. yeah, well anticipated, cut it off beautifully. And that's a big point. Wang's winner now means there's a three-point gap. The biggest lead that Chen and Zhu have had in this game. She was almost going across before Lee had actually even hit that, just read where it was going. She was there very early and easy put away. between Chang and Jun there. So it's over. 13, Supported by Lee. 15. Still the most effective shot in doubles, isn't it? Between the two. But still work to do for Lee and Chin to get Please. right back into this. It might just trickle over, but no such luck. Could be a big point that they had a few opportunities there, Shin in particular. But Chen and Shun end up winning it. That's a good shout. I think it was Jun who called. Seven, and Chang obeyed it. Sometimes from a different position on the court, you can see a better idea of the trajectory of the shuttle. It's a good call, a good leave, and a three-point lead again.
Well, eventually he found the pressure had to tell. But totally on the defensive there, Chang and Jun. Adrenaline, I think. I think that way too hard. 18, 15. Inevitability now about this, you sense. Just in the last five or six points. Not wide by much, but wide it was, not even worth a challenge. Championship points for Chang and Well, that's one saved emphatically. So it's over. Played. And sometimes the final hurdle is the hardest one to clear. Okay. Lenient there, the umpire. Letting uh, Chen go for a tail down. Still three championship points. And that'll do it. 21-17 in the second game. And a deserved victory for Cheng. And Jun. Lee and Cheng just couldn't reproduce the way they played yesterday in the semi-final. And Chang Yi Na has now won this title five times and been runner up once. Well, something in the horses, of course, isn't whatever sport. presentation for you shortly.
관중 여러분 지금부터 여자 복식 경기의 시상식을 거행하겠습니다. 메달과 마스코트는 김흥식, 광주시 체육회 수석 부회장님이 사근보드시연의 고재나 광주광역시 배드민턴협회 부회장님이 해주시겠습니다. Ladies and gentlemen, now we will have a w o r d ceremony for women's double match. Well, s a n y a k a n accused uh, the organisers here of standing on ceremony, no pun intended, because they're already ready for the medal ceremony. t o n y a strapping on there for the shin. So, a silver medal for Lee and Shin. They will also get a check for nine and a half thousand dollars US. Chang and Jung are the champions. And for them, a check for $19,750. And a cuddly mascot to boot. So I'll leave them on the podium.